In central Japan on Monday, a strong earthquake hit, causing significant damage. Sadly, at least one person lost their life and numerous buildings were destroyed. The quake, measuring around 7.6 in magnitude, led to waves of about one meter along Japan's west coast and neighboring South Korea. The impact was severe, with houses collapsing, fires breaking out, and tens of thousands of homes losing power. Rescue operations are underway and the government has dispatched army personnel to assist. Residents in some coastal areas have evacuated to higher ground for safety. In Suzu City, local media captured a distressing scene as a building crumbled into a cloud of dust, while in Wajima, a significant crack appeared in the road. Parents were seen anxiously holding on to their children. The tremors reached the nearby mountains of Nagano Prefecture as well. A Taiwanese tourist named Johnny Wu, who was in Nagano for a skiing holiday, described the chaos. The snow from the electric wire came down, and also from the roof it fell down, and all the cars are shaking. Everybody was in a state of panic. The seismic activity in the region, which has been ongoing for over three years, might lead to more strong earthquakes in the upcoming days, according to Toshihiro Shimoyama, an official from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Responding to the situation, the Japanese government has directed over 97,000 people across nine prefectures on the western coast of Honshu, Japan's main island, to evacuate as of Monday night. These evacuees were expected to spend the night in sports halls and school gymnasiums, commonly used as emergency evacuation centers. Ayako Daikai, a resident of Kanazawa, shared her experience of evacuating to a nearby elementary school with her husband and two children right after the earthquake. She described classrooms, stairwells, hallways, and the gymnasium all being filled with evacuees. The Japan Meteorological Agency made a significant announcement, issuing a major tsunami warning, the first since the devastating 2011 earthquake and tsunami that claimed nearly 20,000 lives in northeast Japan. This warning initially applied to Ishikawa Prefecture, but was later downgraded and eventually reduced to an advisory. This earthquake stands out as the strongest in the region in over four decades, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Tragically, there was a reported fatality as an elderly man lost his life when a building collapsed in Shikatown in Ishikawa, as reported by broadcaster NTV, citing local police.